Look at them All right, just got back to the house. There's Dad. He set up, getting ready to build me this table. This is going to be a swing out table or a let down table from the wall. So so far, he's got him. We got a piece of plywood stained. He's cut all three boards, or all three of us two by four, on a 45 degree angle. And as you see, the middle legs he's putting in right there. That will be the hinge that will fold out underneath the table, and will will cause it to be st stable to where I could put my bow vise, all my weight I need on there to when I'm doing videos for y'all. So I'm just going to let this play a little bit. And if you guys ever need to build something like this, it's not real super hard. That's where you, when you're cutting your angles, you got to be pretty precise. Obviously, Dad's already started on it. But as you see, what'd you do so far? So uh, did you just measure to the center? What'd you do? Right there. To get started. Oh, I measured in three and a half inches on both ends. So I missed my rounded corners. Okay. Right here and here. Okay. So you two of the fours going to be sticking out past the edge. Yeah. And then I got to put a piece on the wall and it's uh, about 28 inches. So what he's doing is he's going to put a he's going to put a two by four on the wall. I'll bring you guys up there and show you in my room. He's going to put a two by four on the wall, and you want it, you want to put what he's doing. And he put that two by four outside diameter there, and in the middle, he's in the middle there that he's got the empty hole. He's going to put a one uh, like a it's probably half inch thick. Because otherwise, the 2x4 that's on the wall, when you let your table down, they won't meet flush. This is going to be loud, so you might want to cover your ears. And he cut both of them on a 45. Got it up about to the middle. We're going to do two like that. And then both will be on hinges. Alright, so he just buzzed that off. Made him another 45 to go on the inside. Just like this one. Put a mark right there underneath the flush. And then he'll make another 45 there. We got this ideal off of old boy from off of YouTube there. Um, I don't know his channel. I might get the channel and put it put it in the script descriptions, man. Um, it, it really gonna save a lot of room up there in the archery dojo. Alright, being that he marked the center from this corner to his other corner, right there. He marked center right there. So his first leg he was able to mount. And now, since he marked the center, he just laid this one up here to where it was even. And that one there, down there, and then he put a mark underneath with the flush face of the plywood. Cut it off at a 45. Bam, puts the hinges down, it's there. Obviously, cut these on a 45. And you said how you figured that out was just by um, measuring what? Measuring in here? Yeah, I measured it in three and a half inches, so I missed it around the corner. Yeah, pretty cool, man, because this, is, this thing's going to be tough. And it's gonna look good. All right, now what are we doing? Cutting this board to put on the wall to hang it on. Right, but we're gonna go 28. Yeah. So he's gonna go inside to inside of the boards right there. Show me the inside to inside spread. Right here to yeah, here. Right there to right there. Because if you don't, when you go to let it down, they catch on these. Yeah, they'll catch on the floor. What do you do? Show them how it works. So when it falls down off the wall, they flip out like this. And that was set against another board. Oh, that's on the wall. Alright guys, here we're back up here. So, so far, we took a 2x4, mounted it flush at the bottom. And we kind of ran into a little bit of trouble as far as our legs coming down. I mean, they, they literally lock, lock in there and, and keep it held up. even. But, if you just to fold it down like that, the legs got to... They need something underneath them to kind of help keep it level because it goes down. And that's what the guy showed too. So we're just going to take a 2 by 4 and put it. See, if you put them like that, they hold yourself. We're going to go ahead and put a little hook up at the top. We're going to run us another 2 by 4 down across here right where our legs hit. Alright, so we're on the finished stages. But we ran into a little hiccup. So down here where you cut your legs and you put your 2 by 4 on the wall. We was having some slippage when you would pull down on the table. That leg right there at the 45 would slip down on the 2x4. So we just cut us a little block. Dad shaved it out with a wood chisel. Put it right underneath the leg. And I mean, you talk about solid. This thing is a beast. It's going to work beautiful. And not just that, but man, all in, $20. $23 at the most. 
Look at the look at the construction. Look how da his dad did so good. I think he should do a lot more videos. If you guys think so, leave in the comments. I'm gonna start him a channel. What do you think? I think he did great, man. Again,